Hi everyone and welcome back to Beautiful British English. Today's fluency lesson is focusing on um, word stress and intonation as a fluency skill for your IELTS. So let's start by just making sure we understand what we mean by intonation and word stress. Now, most of you guys in your native languages, whether that's French, German, um, Italian, Chinese, Japanese, you, you will use stress and intonation as a natural part of your language. Unfortunately, for most of us, when we are learning a second language, all of the rhythm of the language can disappear. So one of the things that you can do in your IELTS exam is make sure that you put some rhythm back into your speech. And this is what we call intonation and stress. So, word stress and intonation. So, a very, very simple example I can give you regarding intonation is a question. Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like a cup of coffee? Now, it's very subtle, okay, but if I could draw a diagram of the intonation I use with a question, it would look like this. So at the end of your question, you always raise your intonation. You always um, raise the stress. So, it's, so it sounds a bit like this. Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah. That's a great example of intonation. Now, when we're making statements, we can use intonation. Um, a statement can be quite flat. I would like a cup of coffee. Please. If I could visualize that, it would look something like that. I would like a cup of coffee, please. Okay. But we can make our sentence more interesting by using intonation. I would like a cup of coffee, please. I would like a cup of coffee, please. So our sentence would look a little bit more like that rather than flat, yeah? So that's what I mean when we um, talk about intonation, okay? And how we use stress in a sentence. The stress is kind of like the rhythm of how we speak. Nobody speaks like this. We all speak like this. Okay, now why is this important for your IELTS exam? Well, well, this is important from a fluency point of view. In your IELTS exam, there are lots of different things that you will talk about. For example, happiness, excitement, your friends, um, sad experiences, anger. Yeah, whenever you're speaking about these things, you have to use um, stress and intonation to demonstrate your emotions. Your, your ability to demonstrate your emotions with your words is, is a fluency skill, it's a key fluency skill. So what we're gonna do is practice using word stress and intonation to demonstrate our feelings and emotions and I'm going to give you some really cool ways that you can do this dead easy. So let's take a look at some ways that we can use this word stress and intonation to improve our fluency in an IELTS speaking exam and this is relevant for any English speaking exam not just IELTS. Let me give you let me demonstrate with the first sentence. Wow, that was amazing. Wow, that was amazing. I said that sentence quite flat. There was no emotion in my voice. So the essence of what I say did not match what I was saying. Yeah, so it's false, it doesn't work. Whereas this sentence should be spoken Wow, that was amazing. Or something similar. Wow, that was amazing. Yep. So I'm using 
individual word stress and I'm using lots and lots of intonation. Wow! Yeah? This word is completely stressed. Wow! That was amazing! Okay, so I'm, I, I'm stressing, I'm stressing, and amazing is being elongated to add extra emphasis to it. Okay. Now, the first time I said that sentence, wow, that was amazing. And the second time, wow, that was amazing, are completely different. The second attempt is believable. The first attempt, not. So in your IELTS exam, I want you to start using this technique to express your feelings and your emotions. Let's take a look at some more examples. I was so happy. I was so happy. Now this is a very easy one and I want you, all you guys to use and practice using this word. This word can be used to add emotion and emphasis to anything you want to say. Yeah, You have to use it correctly and you have to use it carefully. You can't use it all the time. But when you want to emphasize the word that follows, and the word that follows can be happy, sad, anything. Yeah, it could be amazing. All you have to do with this word is stretch it. Yeah, so I was so happy becomes I was so happy. Stretch the word, I was so happy. Yeah, stretch the word so, and it adds more meaning to what you're saying. I was so happy, I was so happy. Yeah, that's a very, very easy one for you guys to practice. Just work um, on using the word so and stretch it. Don't stretch it too far, but make sure you stretch it far enough. And when you say it, make sure your body language also is saying the same thing. I was so happy. Yeah. Another thing to, to mention in your IELTS exam, and again, this does go down to um, your fluency score. If you are saying, a word like happy yeah make sure you look happy when you say it yeah you know you, you you will be marked down on your fluency if you say I was so happy but you're not but you're obviously not yeah so whenever you're saying this word make sure there's a big smile on your face and that will make it more believable yeah she is absolutely my best friend. She is absolutely my best friend. Yeah, okay, so here we have absolutely, okay, which is one of our adverbs. So whenever you want to use an adverb to add extra emphasis to something, you want to stress this word. She is absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Now, absolutely, we're gonna add extra stress on the beginning, the big, the um, the initial syllable. Absolutely, she is absolutely my best friend. And best, a bit like so, you want to stretch it. She is my best friend. Yeah, she is not my best friend. She is my best friend. So stretch the e and s sound within best. That's made me feel angry. Yeah, angry, okay, this is a negative word, but whenever you're saying that made me feel angry, yeah, you, you need the opposite body language and the opposite emotion than to happy. That made me feel angry, yeah? So here, what you want to do with angry is you want to lower the tone of your voice so your voice is gonna drop, yeah? And you're gonna pronounce this kind of word very, very specifically, very precisely. That made me very angry. Yeah. Right, so these are just some very, very simple and easy ways that you can use word stress and intonation in your IELTS exams. Two words, well, no, just one word, okay, which every one of you guys should be using and practicing is this word, so. I was so happy. I am so excited. That was so amazing. Yeah, it just helps you add so much more emphasis and emotion 
to what you're saying, which will help you to improve your fluency score in the IELTS exam.